君も僕も譲れないものがあるなら戦うしかないんだなそろそろ決着をつけよう And number one guys a few hours ago after an entire year of waits we finally got ourselves a new trailer on the Suicoden spiritual successor assuming you've known about this one since last year going by Yuden Chronicle 100 Heroes this is Probably the most anticipated JRPG in the making as I'm speaking. This is also single handedly one of the most backed Kickstarter projects in all time, and it's finally coming out for all consoles and PCs early next year. この発見が僕たちの帝国と諸国連合の友情の証しになるように願おう Konami just came out and finally announced Suikoden 1 and 2 HD remaster as well. Actually something we've heard nothing but rumors about since last month and going by the title now Gate Rune and Dune and Unification Wars. Konami even said that the game is coming to all gaming platforms and PCs early next year. It is going to be rendered in high definition with new character drawings, sound improvements, gameplay system improvements and more. Check it out. After the echoes of the crowd's applause have faded into silence, can music begin anew? And number three, we've got the popular ever since reveal game IP Sacrifier. For those of you new, this is a 90s inspired RPG from years ago that just went on and got itself a delayed release window of early next year, a little while ago. I mean, originally the game was supposed to be coming out around the holidays this year. Guys, Sacrifier is now releasing on every single platform, just got itself a new trailer too, in case you've been waiting for some, and just so you know, the game is still live through its Kickstarter. Campaign. Take a look. Feel Shale's power. Eight travelers from different regions venture forth for their own reasons. Whose path will you tread? Moving on, we've got Octopath Traveler 2. Square Enix and Acquire just came out with the announcement of the sequel. Said the game features a new world, new characters, the same old HD 2D style, only with better graphics and new gameplay systems. Frankly, there's not really much to talk about with this one either, except as I've mentioned before, the trailer speaks for itself clearly. We've been waiting for this one to happen for a long time, so just so you know, the game is releasing February 24 next year. Items or bribe them for information. Explore every corner of this bustling realm to your heart's content. Mama was a star. She wrote her own songs and traveled the land. Of course, Paula and I went everywhere with her. 
It's my dream to be a star, just like you. The path to stardom is laden with thorns, little dancer. You're really something, Eknia. You never gave up on your dream. Your dress is tattered. Are you sure you can dance like that, Agni? But I can still dance in this. I don't want to keep everyone waiting. Coming up behind that, to be quite frank, this is still my favorite game in the making for the past few months at least. We've got Sea of Stars from the same developers of The Messenger that's been in the works since 2017 and now supposedly releasing early to mid next year. Guys, Sea of Stars, in case you're wondering, is heavily influenced by Chrono Trigger. It is with the aim to deliver something in the same vein, the old similar turn-based combat. The game is even soundtracked by the same team who did the original Chrono Trigger game. Check it out. This is what the game is actually all about. Today, we fight not for glory or pride, but for survival, for the future. All right, guys. Now, Square Enix, on the other hand, just announced to finally release the old strategy RPG game, Triangle Strategy, the Nintendo Switch exclusive, and it's going to be released for PCs via Steam on October 13 this year. To accompany the good news, they also went on and released a new trailer, said the game will now run at above 60 FPS, some better graphics, DLCs, and more. So take a look. A war whose victor shall rule Norzelia Fire. in our glorious entirety. You have grown strong, Frederica. May my powers be enough to make you see the light. A battle to prove which of us is more fit to rule Norzelia. You speak of the Hierophant? You will pay for your grievous sins, Sarah Noah Wolfort, with your life. As long as I keep walking, there will always be hope. This battle is but the first step on the path Lord Sarah Noah has laid before us. Let us take this first step together and rejoice. Come what may, my steps shall never waver. At number seven, technically this is the first of the three chapter kind of full game, something called Legends of Astravala. The second and final chapter of which will then be eventually released as DLC content as standalone games, however, at a later date. Guys, Legends of Astravalia is a story-rich, turn-based and exploration-based Japanese-inspired role-playing game. It is sitting on Steam through a playable demo and set to be released by the end of this year for PCs only.
Train Decos, on the other hand, actually just got itself a release window and a new trailer. The game is set to be released November to December this year for pretty much all consoles too. After two years of development, I believe, the game has finally actually gathered twice its initial goal and has been in the stretch goal for a while. This is, as you can see, a 16-bit inspired Super Nintendo era RPG in a fantasy world filled with dragons. Games are to have about 20 to 25 hours of playtime, some fast-paced turn-based battles, and most importantly, you get to fast travel with airships. Did you ever think what would happen if you'd mix the Elder Scrolls games with the old Nintendo ARPGs? Aesthetics. Well, World of Antera, right over here, which came our way actually yesterday, is trying to answer that specific questions in a pretty good way. This is, as stated by developers, a highly interactive, non-linear, open-world role-playing game, which is at the moment sitting on its Kickstarter campaign, who's gathered twice its initial goal and set to be released July next year for PC, Switch, and other consoles as well. Take a look. And last but not least, we've actually got the old Potion Permit, which is probably the perfect game for those of you looking for some relaxing, chill-out sort of experience. This game is a work of Mass Hive and P-Cube. These are some folks keen to these type of games with innovative gameplay systems every time. Story-wise, then, in case you're wondering, this game puts you in the role of a chemist who's trying to help out and cure the folks of a small town. In any case, the game's set to be coming to PC, Switch, and other consoles as well, September 22nd this year. Thank <laughs> you. 